Uh, good evening dear friends, uh, in the series of planning aerodynamics, uh, we are just uh, starting with a new okay, topic. Uh, so far we have discussed about uh, climbing flight. So in climbing flight, uh, okay, we can uh, have uh, some more discussion, that means uh, we, can, we, may, we can solve a few more examples, uh, that means numericals, uh, maybe we, can, we will do it at the later stage. Uh, in the okay now we are just coming to the uh, new okay topic nothing but uh, gliding flight so uh, uh, we are just going to discuss uh, about uh, gliding flight so uh, first of all uh, how do we just uh, come to the uh, gliding flight uh, first uh, from the climbing flight how we are moving to the uh, gliding flight so that we will okay uh, step by step okay we will just uh, discuss in this first of all uh, when we say about uh, uh, climbing flight we all know so when it is uh, climbing how the uh, equation of motions so that we have seen in our uh, climbing flight so the same phenomenon if it is uh, uh, reversing or if it is uh, occurring in the opposite uh, okay direction so this is like uh, descending so what we say ascending and descending so ascending we say as the climbing then descending uh, we are just saying uh, saying as the uh, okay steady descent so in the descent means it is uh, coming down so uh, ascending means uh, going up that is what climbing so uh, descent is just opposite to the climbing so we just we can uh, assume uh, okay now uh, the in the steady descent what happens uh, we are okay the aircraft is at a certain altitude and then now it starts to uh, come down starts to come down and uh, so that is how okay the flight is okay making the diagram okay so aircraft is at this position so uh, when you want to come to this point uh, that is the this is the point on the earth we can say uh, this is nothing but uh, this is the surface okay earth surface so uh, when we want to come to this uh, point so this point so aircraft starts okay from this point starts to descent so that is what so in this okay all the uh, what to say uh, lift and weight thrust and uh, drag so in steady descent only one condition uh, we have to assume that uh, thrust will be uh, lesser than the drag okay so in climbing uh, what we have assumed uh, thrust is greater than uh, drag so whereas in the steady descent it is just opposite the thrust is less than drag so one more thing okay we can just uh, graphical that means uh, vectorial representation of this uh, okay uh, the steady descent uh, flight so we just say that okay similar to the climbing flight okay this is the vertical velocity and the horizontal velocity so uh, vertical velocity only we are going to see as the what to say rate of descent because in the climbing flight uh, vertical velocity we said as the rate of climb so in the similar fashion we are going to say this as the rate of descent so okay now just let's come to the uh, uh, equation of motions so in the steady descent uh, by considering this condition that means uh, thrust is less than drag so we are just uh, resolving the forces along flight path so then we go, uh, get this equation t plus uh, w sin theta sin gamma minus d so here the uh, that means angle of descent we are taking it as a gamma so that okay uh, angle we are taking it here so for when you are resolving along the flight path uh, we get this equation then uh, when you are resolving perpendicular to the flight path and then we get another equation that is uh, l minus uh, w cos gamma that is equal to zero okay so now we got the uh, two equations for the steady descent from this equation uh, we can just find out what is the sine gamma so uh, because from this uh, we can find out what is the angle of descent okay so sine gamma equal to because since uh, drag is uh, greater than uh, thrust so d minus t by w we are writing okay so then uh, rate of descent this also can be called as rate of sink so rate of descent also uh, we, we just we are calling it as rate of sink so that is equal to v sin theta so v sin theta we just uh, okay when we are saying v sin theta this we can write it as uh, v, v, v v you know v into this v into this d minus d 
T by W. Okay, this is what about uh, rate of descent. Okay, nothing but rate of sink. Okay, now let's come to the uh, gliding flight. When we are discussing uh, about uh, gliding flight, okay, what we we assume that uh, thrust equal to zero. That means uh, <coughs> in some cases or in some uh, occasions, what happened? Even during the normal flight, okay, when it is coming down, so in the steady descent, that time if the engine fails, then what happened? Okay, we can say that uh, if the engine fails, then uh, thrust will be zero. So that condition, uh, that scenario also can be assumed as the gliding flight. So in some cases, okay, gliding flight, okay, we just, you uh, know, okay, how we are uh, just uh, working on it. So gliding flight only, we say that uh, where the thrust is zero. So when the thrust is zero, then uh, what happened? Uh, we are just uh, uh, getting this uh, equation of motions. So when the for the gliding flight, so uh, the equation of motions uh, W sine comma minus D because the same equation only we have to take it because in this thrust is zero. So when the thrust is in the options of thrust, what the equation comes? So W sine comma minus D. So this is one. Okay. Then another equation uh, L minus w cos comma so that is uh, this equation so for the gliding flight also we get uh, two uh, equations that means uh, equation of motions okay so two equations uh, for their gliding flight okay so now okay from the uh, equation three what we say that uh, okay sin gamma sin gamma equal to d by w because uh, in steady level flight we know w is nothing but l so this we are writing d by l we are writing in the coefficient form cd by cl Okay, now uh, let's come to the rate of sink because we have seen in the steady uh, descent uh, what is the rate of sink. So in the gliding flight, the rate of sink is nothing but okay same whatever we have seen v sine gamma. So here also v sine okay uh, gamma. So even in the uh, climbing flight, uh, we used to say the rate of climb is nothing but uh, v sine theta. So the same uh, fashion we are here uh, there we say rate of climb here we say rate of sink. So uh, only the angle also same. We there we say v sine theta here v sine gamma. So v okay d by w okay. So this also can be we can just convert okay. So d by w nothing but uh, uh, d by l in the steady roll flight because w is nothing but l in steady roll flight. So we are converting that into coefficient form c d by c l. Then what happened uh, rate of sink equal to we are getting. Because the velocity from the velocity the CL comes out, so that is nothing but CL power of, so CL power of plus uh, one that means CL, so CD by CL power three by two, so it means this is an equation uh, for okay getting the rate of sink or we can just say this is an equation. This equation we can use it uh, for finding the rate of sink minimum. Suppose if I if you want to find out uh, minimum. If suppose if this is minimum, then this condition should be minimum. Okay, so uh, C D by C L power uh, three by two. When you want to obtain uh, this uh, condition, uh, okay, to be minimum. So this is similar to the uh, minimum power conditions. C D by C L power three by two. Uh, nothing but okay. This is similar to the minimum power conditions. So for uh, achieving or uh, for obtaining the rate of sink minimum. Then we can use the minimum power conditions, and then we can find out the rate of sink. Okay, that means the minimum rate of sink. Okay, so this is one thing. <clears throat> now let us find out the uh, angle of glide. So angle of glide we can find out from here. Sin okay, sin gamma equal to C D by C L. So if you want to find out a minimum angle, okay, that means what is a uh, what we can say that. Uh, uh, Minimum angle of uh, glide, or okay, uh, that means yeah. So uh, we can use this condition because uh, gamma. If you want to uh, find the minimum, that means uh, yeah, it's not minimum, maximum angle of glide. So we can use this condition because if you find uh, C D by C L. Uh, so if you this is similar to the uh, minimum drag conditions. If you use the minimum drag conditions, then we can find out. Uh, what is the maximum angle of glide? So that is okay. Now we got it. Uh, what is the uh, how to find out the maximum angle of glide? So that means uh, maximum angle of glide from is okay. We can just uh, from this equation we can find out. Okay. So uh, it means uh, 
gamma max we can just say if you want to find out gamma max so we just we have to go for the uh, minimum that means uh, 1 by this is nothing but uh, uh, l by d 1 by l by d max we can just say nothing but it is l by d max so gamma max is equal to 1 by l by d max okay or okay that uh, sign if you are if you are just taking uh, sin gamma is very small uh, then uh, gamma is very small then sin gamma equal to gamma so that way we can just write it this okay so we got it a maximum so that means uh, uh, minimum rate of sin so then only it can glide for uh, longer duration that is one thing why do we go for a minimum rate of sin because of the uh, the longer duration okay then uh, maximum angle of glide so that is also we just got it okay now uh, with the same diagram we can just go for uh, some more uh, okay uh, this uh, uh, exploration we can just what we can say uh, this range and endurance for this gliding flight also range and endurance because gliding flight what we say when we say this uh, this is equal to zero when the thrust equal to zero the steady descent nothing but uh, okay it, it becomes the gliding flight so in this the uh, this one uh, we just say uh, oh yeah we can just uh, from this we can say this is the height uh, yeah this is the height and uh, this one uh, we can take it as the uh, d so uh, d yeah okay h by d so that means uh, what we say sin uh, tan gamma so if i write if you are writing tan gamma equal to h by d so the h by d d is nothing but uh, it is the uh, distance so that this we can take it as the range so this is okay we can just say uh, this is for a uh, small uh, gamma okay so we can just say uh, sin tan gamma equal to sin gamma so sin gamma so then uh, what happened the sin gamma equal to uh, we can write uh, h by d so this sin gamma also we, we have seen that is nothing but uh, cd by cl cd by cl so yeah from this equation we can write h by d that is also equal to cd by cl so from here what we can write d that means uh, d equal to this is equal d equal to h h into cl by cd cl by cd so it means if you know the height okay from what altitude okay uh, this uh, gliding starts if you know that okay condition then what happen we can find out what is the d max so that means uh, d d we can the distance nothing but uh, we can say this is nothing but range we let us say this is the range okay let us consider range so this is nothing but range the range okay equal to h into cd cl by cd so if you want to go for a maximum range then what happen this condition okay has to be minimum so that means uh, this has to be maximum so we can just say we can find out okay uh, for the maximum range then we can have a uh, this minimum uh, that means we can apply minimum track conditions so it means uh, uh you also can say that uh, d max d max equal to uh l by d so that means directly proportional so it is a l by d max so we can just say the um, l by d max that means uh, h into l by d max so if we want to find out a maximum range then we can go for okay this equation then we can uh, okay find out the l by d max and then we can get the maximum uh, range that means the d is nothing but uh, we are taking it as the range so maximum range so for maximum range we can use this formula then uh, we have uh, one more thing that is called uh, endurance so endurance says nothing but <coughs> uh, yeah so that is the uh, time uh, taken so what we can just say time taken uh, for uh, obtaining uh, uh, this uh, this distance 
to cover up or uh, to reach this uh, distance uh, how much uh, time taken so that is also we can just say from the equation that means uh, from the formula so that is nothing but uh, uh, yeah we just we can we can just say uh, by using this condition uh, so what we say and uh, the time taken that means that is what uh, we call it as the endurance so the endurance uh, time taken for uh, okay we can just say time taken for uh, for achieving okay for to for the range time taken for uh, for the distance for the distance d distance d uh, uh, d or or uh, we can just say uh, range so yeah so this uh, time taken for this okay nothing but uh, that is let us say uh, uh, t max t uh, yeah t equal to uh, yes t equal to uh, that means uh, from this okay the h by uh, h by we define like this h by uh, rate of sink okay so this is what okay so time taken for okay for the distance uh, d or okay range so how much uh, time taken okay so for this uh, for covering this distance so that is where we can find out by using this uh, formula it means suppose if you want to have a uh, what to say um, suppose if the rate of sink is minimum then what will happen time taken will be maximum that is the idea okay so that also we can just say here if this is okay if this is minimum then okay obviously this will be maximum if this is okay this decreases this will be increasing so we can just say that uh, t max for obtaining the t max then we have to use this formula rate of sink minimum okay so uh, by using this formula we can find out how much is the time taken so this is also we call it as endurance okay so we have a separate topic uh, okay for uh, range and endurance uh, in the study level flight kind of, okay so we will uh, discuss uh, what is range and endurance uh, for the normal flight condition that means in steady level flight so but in the gliding flight okay this is okay time taken you know, maximum okay time taken can be achieved uh, with the help of uh, minimum rate of sink so i hope okay this uh, um, uh, lesson clear okay clarifies how the uh, gliding flight works and also how we are having okay uh, obtaining the steady descent so so i this thing okay 